How do you tune to the right frequency? By praise. By praise. I want to show you this verse. It's I love this. Proverbs chapter 27, verse 21. The crucible is for silver and the furnace is for gold. And a man is tested by his praise. You are tested by your praise. You are tested by your praise. You are tested by your praise. You are not tested by... You are not tested by remorse. Many people misunderstand repentance to be remorseful. Repentance and remorse are two different things. Repentance does not mean... Oh God, I'm sorry. That's being remorseful. Repentance means change your mind. So if you become remorseful and if you still haven't changed your mind... That's not repentance. That's what the Bible says. It is the goodness of God that leads man to repentance. You can't repent on your own. You, you can be remorseful on your own. But for you to be repentant, you have to see the goodness of the Father. Even in my sinfulness, He loved me. Oh, even in my utter foolishness, He still delivered me. It's the goodness of the Lord. It's the revelation of God's goodness that changes your mind. Okay? This verse says in Proverbs 27, 21 that you are tested by praise. What you praise is what is your God. Whom you worship has become your God. Whom you praise has become your God. How many of you go you know, to this Shah Rukh Khan movie huh, and watch this action movie? Tell me the latest, the, the movie, Pathan, right? And you see all these action, action things that he's doing and you rejoice in that theater. You pagans... But you have half the joy when you come into the house of God. You are tested by your praise. I love you guys. I'm not condemning you. But you, you get my heart, right? Why is it that the devil has stolen the real essence of praise and worship and has twisted into something that is cheap? The gospel is the reason for our praise. And Jesus says, it is finished, it is done, it is taken care of. What are you worried about? Joy comes in the morning. The morning has come. His name is Jesus. What are you doing, brother? I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the next promotion. I'm waiting for the girl to appear in my dreams. I'm, I'm waiting for... I'm waiting to go to the US. I'm waiting, waiting, waiting. And, and in the season of waiting, we become so depressed. What are you doing? I'm waiting. Your waiting looks so depressing. The Israelites, they were moving from the land of Egypt into the promised land. They walked through the wilderness, which was their season of waiting. Waiting is a season. The promised land is your life. Don't let one season affect your life. No, 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 no. Just imagine with me, let's, let's put an estimate, two million people walk from Egypt because they're so affected by that one season, they're not able to enter into the promised land. Why? Because they have built the theology of what God looks like from that season. It's very harmful if you make your theology based on one season. That's why you have to go back to the gospel and be like, this is just a season. This is not my life. My life has been decided by God who chose me before the foundations of the earth. So I'm not going to let this change my perspective of who God is and who, who I am in Jesus. People who change their mindset about God's promise in the wilderness, in the season of that wilderness, they were never able to enter the promised land. Do you want to enter your promised land? So, so when you're waiting, wait with rejoicing. Waiting with depression is... I don't have the words for it. It's not godly. When you're waiting, waiting, wait with joy. You're waiting for children. We're waiting for getting married. We're waiting for the next promotion. 
but I'm going to wait with joy. It's not going to steal my joy. The next promotion is not the reason why I have joy. It is Jesus why I have joy. The girl who I'm going to get married is not the reason why I have joy. I have joy now because Jesus is my joy. Can I tell you something? If you put all your joy in that one thing, when that thing comes, you'll be so disappointed. I'm telling you guys, you'll be so disappointed. Because no boy or a girl can actually make you happy. Marriage 101. <laughs> Nobody will tell you this before you guys get married. No boy or a girl, you know, you all, all you single people, you have this fantasy that you will be cuddled by the other person. And you feel so good. Ah, my joy, my love, life is so joyful. I'm telling you, no boy or a girl can keep you joyful. Only God can. Only Jesus can. And He has done everything, everything on the cross. He has finished everything so that you can live a joyful life. If you can begin your life from the supply of joy, then you can make the other person joyful. Then your marriage will look joyful. But without Jesus in the equation, oh man, your life will be so depressing. Pehla pyar, pehla nasha, wo usi samay utar jayega. For those who don't know, the, the songs that talk about love being the drug, it wears off very soon. But when Jesus becomes the joy, it becomes sustaining. It becomes a sustaining lifestyle. It becomes a sustained testimony of your life. Amen. Are you with me, guys? How much time do I have? Oh, man. Okay. <clears throat> so, be joyful. Be joyful. Praise. Now, here's something that I've noticed in the church. You know, the Lord gives us a word and release that word with all our hearts and then later after a couple of months when we go back and we ask people hey do you do declarations no pastor um, do you pray no pastor do you read the word no pastor so let this message not be something that you hear rejoice and then you leave this message here and go back home take this message home as soon as this message ends, make a commitment that every day, every day, you're going to take time out to rejoice and to praise God for what He has done. Irrespective of what is happening in your life, you will take time out to praise Him. Amen? Do it in the morning because morning is a good time. Because so that you can wake up and tune your mind to that high frequency, to that high reality of God's life. Put on a praise song or if you have, you know, if you have a phone and earphones, put on a praise song on your phone and start, start dancing. Let everything that has breath, praise the Lord. Be absolutely undignified in the presence of your father. Amen. If your house is small enough, Lord, I pray, Lord, that you'll give them bigger houses so that they can praise and dance in the house. One more reason for you to have a bigger house. You can run all around the house. Amen. I'm telling you, try this. Try this for a week. Test and see. Try this for a week. The Bible says, test and see that the Lord is good. Test and see. Try this for a week and see how your life changes. See how your mood changes. See how your perspective towards your job, the, the boss whom you don't like. <laughs> See how, how it brings joy, even when you're in that office. Why? Because your joy is not dependent on circumstances. Your joy is dependent on His truth. Amen. Thank you for watching this sermon on our YouTube channel. If you were blessed by the sermon, please do share with your friends and families. We would love to hear how this word has impacted you. I believe that every word has a potential to birth testimonies. So please do check out the comment section below. God bless you.